here is my non-permanent solution to filming on a motorcycle with the a helmet cam setup. So I use the GoPro Hero 7 Black with the GoPro mic adapter, Ulanzi case with mic adapter holder, the Django spring-loaded clip mount, a Purple Panda lapel mic, and the Purple Panda lapel mic comes with the, the TRS adapter. As you can see, this one has four gold spots and this one has three gold spots. You need to use the adapter that goes from four to three into the GoPro mic adapter or else you have no audio. So the GoPro fits right in there. The mic adapter slides into this and it is uh, very snug. It's not going to wiggle loose at all. And I just bend that, push that in. So I found when I use this clip, you know, this Django mount, if I push the GoPro all the way back and tighten it up, that way when it's, you know, when it's on the, uh, on the helmet, you get a good view of the horizon, plus you have a good view of whatever's at the bottom of the screen. And then for mounting the microphone in the helmet, what I do is I'm using a Scorpion AT950 modular helmet. And I just pop the cheek pad out, unbutton it, I stuff all this excess in here. Stuff a little bit more of that in there. Leave that dangling out just a little bit. And then I clip that back in. And then what I do with the microphone, I just tuck the wire down behind the cheek pad. Pull the cheek pad out just a little bit to where the microphone fits right in there. And with the TRS adapter so then the microphone just sits right there with the the little dead cat or cottontail or whatever you want to call it close that so that way it sits right there along the the chin bar that way it's blocked from the wind I close my vent Django mount on there, make sure it's straight, and then plug the microphone into the mic adapter. And that is my filming setup. Non permanent, that way you don't have to use any of these uh, stickies. You don't have to mount the sticky thing to your helmet, you know, especially if you have a helmet like this that has, uh, you know, it's not completely flat, it's got ridges and whatnot in there. Plus you can use this Django mount for all kinds of other stuff. If you want to get some action shots of you uh, riding by or doing a jump, you can use it as like a little tripod. You can clip it onto different things on your bike or you know clip it onto a, a tree branch. I got the idea of the, the Django mount from Dork in the Road's review of it. And I figured, hey, that's an easy way to get into uh, filming while on my motorcycle. So I picked one up and 
started filming my adventures and I like the way that like the way that it fits on there the only thing is when you're wearing the helmet with that mount on there um, when you go to look down the the mount will hit you in the chest so it does limit your range of motion just a little bit but it's insignificant I will uh, add a link to um, Dork in the Road's review of that, and I'll put it in a little little card up in the top right corner. So if you want to get into moto vlogging or filming some of your adventures, I think this is a uh, a great way to go. That way, it's removable. You don't have to put sticky things, or you don't have to drill or glue or tape anything to your uh, to your helmet. And then when you're done, you can just, at least on mine, I can pop that out. Oh, it's hooked on something. Pull all that out. Clip that back in, and voila. quick and easy so thanks for watching everybody please like subscribe hit that notification bell in the bottom right corner and you'll be notified whenever I post new videos and that's all folks thanks for watching